All right, guys. Uh, so Essence of Cluster asked a, uh, a couple questions that I think are very easily explained with the video in a book rather than me trying to do that uh, through, through like writing a response. So the question was asked, did, do all the bureaus, okay, do all the bureaus issue the notes and star notes? And the answer is yes in the lower denoms. And then the, all, the other question was, since all the serial numbers that I have, and by the way, I'm referencing the video that just released this morning uh, about my Federal Reserve note uh, stars. Um, the question was asked, since all of them begin with three or four zeros, are they all considered low runs? And the question is, yes, kind of, basically. So let me show you some stuff here. So if you look, um, by the way, this book, Paper Money of the U.S., this one is very well used, but uh, this is a book that all paper money collectors need. So if, if you look, I'm at the $5 Federal Reserve note. Freeburg numbers are in the 1850s, Okay. Now, if you look right here, let's look at Boston. So without the star 3.18 million and with the star 36,000. Now imagine today if the Bureau released 36,000 star notes and that's all they made. We're talking about a, uh, a pretty rare note. Now the numbers through here with the star notes are 24,000, 36,000. There's a 60,000 with Cleveland. The prices do not reflect the amount printed because look at this 36,000, 225 bucks on VG8. All right. There's a 36,000 for 600. Okay. You would think those two 36,000s would be about the same. There's a 24,000 for only 500, not 600. All right. So these are really all over the place. That's with the fives, and they are actually all released, both non-stars and stars. And if you look at the San Francisco one, there's no prices. It just simply says rare. So if you find one of those, you might want to, well, you'd let me know. Or you can uh, probably make 10 grand on it. Now, if you get down here to the tens, same general idea. Look at the Boston one. Okay, if you find a Boston Star 10 in rough shape, you've got a note that's probably worth six or seven hundred bucks. That's in rough shape, and it progresses very quickly. So you get one mint state, you got a you've got a ten thousand dollar note. Okay, we'll continue with the tens, and you can see those mintages there are printings. Dallas, you can pretty much always guarantee. Dallas and possibly San Francisco are very tough to find. All right, so on the 10s, the Dallas one is 3500 bucks in rough shape. And the thing is, you're going to get close to getting that as well for them. There's the 20s. Yet again, all the bureaus printed. The Dallas one right here is rare. Okay, now let's get into the rarer ones. So the 50s. Look at the mintage on Chicago, 4,000. That's it. Imagine, like, what's even available now. You know, there might only be 10 of those things. There's not many. I know that because I don't, I don't think I've ever seen a star Chicago 50 out there. All right. Through all these, yet again, the Dallas, it says rare and there's no price, but you have A, B, or you have no A. They only printed these things. There's B, D, G, I, K, or J, K, and L. I promise I'm not dyslexic. Um, right through there, not all the bureaus even printed 50s. And if you go down here to the 100s, it's the same story. Now, my 100 star is in New York, okay? All of these stars, they only printed about 12,000 originally. 
Richmond is a little bit more. All right, but this is always crazy. Richmond is $1,500. But there's 36,000 that were originally printed. There's only 12,000 of the New York that I have. So my New York is a VF30. VF20 is 225 or 20 2250 and the 40 is over 3 grand. So, you know, if you book out mine in a VF30, it's somewhere right in the middle of that. And if you remember, I said I paid like $1,000 for it. So do all these things go for the fine prices are around? Um, a lot of them do. Okay, so whatever grade it has on here, you can usually get it for the grade below on the book. I've noticed that with a, with a lot of these. But anyway, um, Cluster, I hope this helped uh, answer your question. And I will uh, I appreciate you watching, and I'll see you guys next time.